thought we were reviewing some sort of a mug cake. Why are these out here? Because the folks over at Power Creamer have come out with a new product line. Huh. They're little mug cakes in a container. And I'm kind of impressed with these so far. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We're just going to talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So a while back, we did a review of these Omega Power Creamers. And They're really good. We were super impressed. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are basically like liquid ghee, but they have some flavors in them. So for example, this one here is mm. the pumpkin spice, mm -hmm. and it's milk fat from grass-fed cows, organic extra virgin coconut oil, MCT, natural flavors, non-GMO, sunflower lecithin, and stevia. These things are amazing. I'm going to put a link to that video right up here. But the folks over here at Omega Power Creamer have come out with a new product line. And I like this. They're keeping them kind of separate. So you have the Omega Power Creamer, which is like one company or one like website. And then Upside Down Bakery. The Upside Down Bakery. Wow. And I like the idea of these little mug cake in a like pouch thing because you can simply mix them with water. Yeah, throw them in the microwave and you're done. Like Duncan Hines has one, but not really keen on the ingredients. Well, that's what I was going to say. I love the convenience factor, but like don't put garbage in this. Right. So they have three flavors they sent us. They sent us a blueberry muffin one. Okay. And a brownie. And then this is a pancake. This is a buttermilk maple pancake. Now I am going to, first of all, I really think this logo is cool with upside with the down, upside down. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Seuss Land. Right? Yes. Uh, anytime they put keto friendly on there, I'm a little suspect. Ooh, the level is very high for me. Okay, so I they actually sent us two of each flavor. So I have already made these up. Well to, done, to sir. To save time on the video. Nice. Okay, so how you make this was super simple. You remove the lid. Mm -hmm. You put two heaping tablespoons of water now i don't know what a heaping tablespoon because heaping usually means mounded over but don't you need something that's a solid to do that with right so i did two tablespoons and then added probably another quarter of a tablespoon so i think that one or two of this one here i think i didn't add enough water because i did two flat tablespoons Looks a little so sad i don't quite know what a heaping tablespoon is so if they're watching this can, can we, like, get a clarification of what is a heaping table? Is it two and a half tablespoons? Like, because I don't think two is enough. No. So I did, like, two and a quarter, maybe two and a half. And I need clear directions because I will screw it up. Okay. Merry we, Christmas. We got Christmas plates, but you know what I did forget? It's almost St. Patrick's Day. Merry Christmas. I forgot forks. Utensils. So we're just going to use our fingers. Oh, my gracious. Okay. So this is the buttermilk maple pancake i gotta tell you it looks like a pancake is the you know maple syrup taste inside i don't know so like i say i think this needed a little bit more water i don't know it looks nice and spongy i know we have to eat a bunch of these so i don't want to eat a lot yeah it smells it smells like maple very maple you know what it, the smell like think it it smells like what were those things that think anthony used to like from mcdonald's oh yeah like the the griddle cakes. the mcgriddle yeah that's what it smells like Good flavor. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's maple. It's got a little bit of like a dry aftertaste. I, I think it needed more water. Yeah. I think it needed more water. It's not bad though. But I mean, it's you can see it's like a mug cake. It's got 
just a little strange aftertaste at the end. Do I have something on my face that you're looking at me? You do, you do. (laughs) Okay, is it all gone now? It's all gone. We took a break. I I had to wipe, I think it was egg yolk. Maybe it's time to shave the beard off. What do you think? Yes. It's a flavor saver, for sure. (laughs) Ew. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. The flavor in this one is okay. It, it's just okay. It doesn't remind me of a pancake, though. And no. that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a pancake. It doesn't remind me of pancakes. It doesn't remind me of pancakes either. Okay. So let's put this one off to the side. All right. Number two. We're going to go muffin, blueberry flavor. All right. Okay. Now, this one's a little bit better. This one's a little bit spongier. Did you maybe you got the moisture level right? Yeah, that does feel. Well Each like one I, I did a little bit. They all call for the same amount of water. Each one I have a slightly different amount of water. Mm, I didn't drink it. Nope. <laughs> the flavor. I like that one, though. The blueberry is coming through. It is, but like, what's behind it? What's that? What's that behind it? It's kind of like dry and i don't know not great i don't know all right you're up fudge this one to me when i cooked it looks the best okay so there we go it looks like a yeah chocolate yeah. No, like look Mug at cake. that one look at that one let's go all right dink it dink Oop. no it's not sweet. It is not sweet at all. They've made this with allulose. It is not It is sweet. not sweet at all. Okay, five things. Five Damn, things. I wanted to like this. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. The ingredients. Okay, so. We're going to look at them all. Came out like completely clean. Look at that. Okay, so this is the blueberry muffin one. Okay. The ingredients are almond flour, allulose, an oil blend, which is palm oil and coconut oil. By the way, I have no issue with palm oil. It's the same as coconut oil. Biggest problem with palm oil is you need to make sure you're getting it from someplace that is um, sourcing it, you know, sustainably. Sometimes they like to kill the trees to get it. Yeah. Um, Egg whites, gelatin. That's that's why it's that sponginess. Whey protein concentrate, coconut flour, blueberries contains less than two percent of leavening, which is sodium bicarbonate, sodium uh, acid uh, pyrophosphate, monocalcium phosphate, and then you have monk fruit monk fruit extract, silicon dioxide to prevent caking and natural flavor. So the ingredients on this is really good. Very very similar. You know, I'm sure it's just it's just like a flavoring thing. Yeah. Yeah, because this one has like buttermilk in it because it's the pancake. And this one obviously has cocoa powder in it, but all the other stuff around it, like the almond flour it's, and the it's, allulose. It's really, really clean ingredients. I mean, almond flour, allulose, um, egg whites, mm-hmm. whey protein concentrate, gelatin, coconut flour, and nothing, then your baking powder. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with any of the stuff that's in here. So uh, number two, does the keto based on a nutrition label. And it looks like they're all 240 calories per cup. Okay. A serving size is a cup, but one container. Thank you mm-hmm. very much for that. 18 grams of fat. Yep. There is uh, 18 total carbohydrates in the pancake, 17 total carbohydrates in the brownie. 17 in the, in the blueberry muffin. All right. Then you've got three grams of fiber and 12 grams of allulose for three net carbs um, you've got four grams of fiber, uh, uh, 10 grams of allulose for three net carbs in this. And this is three grams of fiber. And where, where are you seeing the allulose? I don't even see the allulose. Right there. Oh, there we go. Uh, s- 11 grams of allulose for three net carbs. And there's 11 grams of protein in each one. So, 11 here and 10 here. Okay, so I will say this. It's not bad. I mean, 17 total carbs is not super bad, especially when most of those are coming from allulose. And allulose is actually known to lower your blood sugar. So that's a good thing. I like the fact that you're using allulose. The biggest problem with allulose is it's only 70% as sweet as sugar. Which leads us to number three. How How does does it it taste? taste? They have a good taste, but they're not sweet enough. That's what my thought is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me and allulose. Maybe I'm wrong, Mm -hmm. but it feels like you could put 8 billion grams of allulose in a product and I don't taste it. 
I taste the maple flavoring. Like mm-hmm. I taste a maple flavor to it. I tasted chocolate. I tasted chocolate flavor. I taste the blueberries, but there is no real sweetness to me with a lot of allulose. And then afterwards, there's just kind of a like a tingy, dry taste to it. I think my personal thought is the best tasting one is the chocolate one. The consistency is good on all of them. The chocolate one is coming through. And I think this is the one where I put like two and a half tablespoons of water and you can see it just, it has more of a cake look. It it almost looks like those... Those Duncan Hines cakes you would buy at like the grocery store, right? Yeah. They, they, it's got a nice texture to it. I think the flavor of the chocolate is really good, but it's it's un, it doesn't taste like it's got enough sweetener. But I don't want to see that corrected with more allulose. No, because no, you're just gonna, not gonna you're, fix it. It's not gonna fix it. The only thing that's gonna fix the sweetness, and this isn't just with them; it's with anything, is adding in another sweetener. I would prefer like liquid monk fruit or liquid uh, stevia. Uh-huh. The problem with that is, is these come in powdered form. So I think if you actually took say- these and made them yourself and put a couple of drops of your own stevia. Maybe that would Or help. a couple of drops of your own liquid monk fruit. That would probably elevate the sweetness without adding any more carbs. But it kind of defeats the purpose. So yeah. I think the flavor is okay. But they're not sweet enough, at least not in my opinion. Not when you think of a cake. Not when I'm reaching for something called brownie. I mean, maybe you could get away with it with the the pancake because of the fact that, um, you know, maybe you add some like sugar-free syrup or something to it. Right. Uh, Maybe for the the blueberry muffin, you're going to add butter or something to it that adds another dimension of flavor. But yeah, not for me. And if you compare it to other ones in this same kind of realm... It's about the same. I mean, I haven't liked any of them, really. This is the best one when it comes to ingredients, though. I will say that. Um, Number four, how much do they cost? So I was looking online, and it is $20 for six of them. So that's about $3.33 a piece. Okay. That's right in line with pretty much all of the other companies. But again, it does have better ingredients. So I'm good with that. Yeah, me too. Okay. Number five... And that is, would we recommend them? I would recommend it based on the ingredients. And if you're somebody who just does not like things that are sweet, like some people, we we will love something and it'll be sweet. Like people will say, I don't like keto bars too sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and we love them. Yep. So it's, I mean, definitely taste is subjective, but for me, they're, they're a hard pass. For me, I'm going to look at it and say, I think the ingredients are really good. If you don't want something super sweet, they're really good. I'm, they're not not sweet. They're just not sweet when you think of a piece of cake. And if I'm going to give up 17 total yeah. carbs when I'm not eating more than 30 to 40 total carbs. It's going to have to be um, delicious. I don't know if I'm really willing to give up half of my total carbs for the day for something that is not like screaming like this is dessert. I'm sure that they didn't think about it going in but i'm actually really glad that they separated the cake from this because this is super flavorful yeah and we love it and we use it and it's great and you can actually use it even i mean i've used it in recipes that called for ghee because you could add another dimension of flavor like the pumpkin spice to it or like you know they have this one it was like for the holidays it was nice to add like the peppermint to Mm -hmm. it but yeah now, uh, they did give us a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. It's 10% off. M- like we said, taste is subjective. Yeah. So if you've tried them and you really like them, there is a coupon code for it. Uh, but I don't think I would buy it again just because like, I'm not willing to give up half of my total carbs for the day for a smaller thing that isn't like screaming like this is a great dessert. Delicious. You want me? Yeah. Well, that is going to be our video. Let us know again down in the comment section if you have had these before. And um, also, let us know if there's another one of these like mug cake in a cups that you've had that maybe you like or you didn't like. The biggest problem I find with all of them is it's this. the basic thing is it's allulose. And allulose, just as great of a sweetener is when it comes to keto, doesn't hack is it. not sweet enough. You have to add something else, but adding anything other than a liquid sweetener is going to up the carbs, which I don't want to do. And 
I'm telling you, adding a bunch more allulose, that doesn't work either. Please don't do that. The Duncan Hines ones, which didn't even have great ingredients, that was like 34 total carbs because they way overdo it on the allulose. Wow. And they're still not sweet enough. No. So if you don't like the Duncan Hines ones, these you'd probably like because I think they're a little bit better. Oh, because people thought they were too sweet. Too, well, too sweet and also like way too many carbs. Yeah. So, well, that's going to be the video for today. Now, we do have some other videos you may like. We're going to list them right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.